afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. Today is June 15th. I'm Abby Schmaltz and to my left is Logan Burgess. Logan, let's jump into the quotes for today. We got corn, old crop corn down 19, so old crop soybeans down 6 and 3 quarters, Chicago wheat down 11, and Kansas City wheat down 10 and 3 quarters. Yeah, you know, th really throughout the week we did see the grain complex move lower. That was continued in today's action. And uh, if, you know, if we take a look at open interest throughout the week, we saw it uh, decline across the grains and really quite substantially in the corn complex. You know, when we see prices move lower and open interest declining, that indicates that we have longs exiting the market. You know, and it seems like the longs were motivated sellers here this week, particularly speculative longs. Really driving this was, were these Greek elections that we're having here on Sunday. If the Greeks are not able to elect a pro-austerity candidate, it really opens the door for them leaving the EU, and that's not going to be supportive of uh, commodity prices in general. So I think this week, longs were exiting in droves and really pushing prices lower here. Um, you know, kind of another thing weighing on the complex in general, or, or another fundamental factor that we saw come out today, was some numbers out of Informa. Let's take a quick look at what we saw come out from Informa today. As you can see here, 96.8 million acres of corn are expected here, 76 million acres of uh, soybeans. As you can see here, the USDA on March 30th projected 95.9 million acres of corn and 73.9 million acres of soybeans. So Informa came out here substantially higher than the USDA. This kind of opens the door for uh, you know maybe the USDA raising their uh, planted acreage in the June 29th report here coming up. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Right. That's kind of what we saw in the uh, futures market in general this week. How's cash basis looking right now? Well, right now we saw corn up four cents this week, ethanol plants up four cents, and river terminals up six. Interesting note. The Gulf was up five cents this week, but we currently sit 40 cents stronger than where we have in the last five years. On the soybean front, we were only up one cent across the country, relatively mixed. Uh, we had soy soy plants up one cent and river terminals up one cent. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it looks like the cash market remains exceptionally strong, especially for corn. You know, the futures market certainly isn't giving farmers an incentive to part with their grain. Right. Looks like basis is trying to make up some of the gap there. You know, that kind of wraps up our show here for Friday afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us on Grain TV. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here Monday.